back to another weekly vlog. I am in the new house. If you didn't see our moving vlog, you can go back and watch that. We moved last weekend. So now it's time to settle in and get to nest because by the time you're watching this, I am 31 weeks pregnant now, which means we only have approximately nine weeks left if he comes on time. We are in the single digits and I, I remember like when Brian and I went on a little weekend trip and I was, and I was like 20 weeks pregnant or 21 weeks pregnant and I was like, yeah, only 19 more weekends until the baby's born. And he's like, oh my gosh, only 19 more Saturdays I could play golf. <laughs> and now we're down to nine. And yes, he is playing golf right now. I mean, obviously I'm going to let him golf after the baby's born, but he knows life is going to change. He cannot be gone all day Saturdays and Sundays golfing. I'm going to be setting up some organizational things in the house. So I'm just going to bring you along. I ordered some acrylic uh, shelves for the shower. I haven't even opened these yet from Amazon, so let's see. you do not have to drill holes for tile okay um they have some sticky things this looks complicated i hope it's not well let's see shall we okay moved us into the bathroom i don't think it's as complicated as i thought so let me show you so each of these little shelves is gonna have two of these square things and you unscrew the little cap and then you put it through the hole like that and you screw it on oh i have nails on makes it a little bit difficult Okay, we're on. Let me do the other one. Before I put the sticky stickers on here, I'm gonna just kind of plan out where I wanna put them. I'm not exactly sure. Thinking something like that. So after you have these little square things on, you're supposed to put two of these. On the back. So I don't understand because oh yeah, stick two rubber feet on shelf to balance it to the wall. Okay. And here we go to nothing. Looks good enough. And then it says clean the wall, blah blah. I'm not gonna do that. Take off protective film on stickers and press to the wall. Make sure the shelf is level. Okay. So, taking off this sticker. And I grabbed a level so we can make sure because my eyes definitely can't tell. I'm so nervous. I'm using the grout to kind of guide me in the level. It says that it's level. Oh, what was that? I don't know what's happening. And then it said you gotta press out like all the air. All right, let's do the next one.
sure these are very difficult to see because they're so clear and everything is white, but the shelf doesn't go flush against the wall. It's like the sticker parts that do. And the instruction says it's best to get out all the air bubbles. So I'm taking a pair of scissors. It's like the only thing I could find that was skinny enough. And I'm pressing on those square sticky parts to make sure that those are like totally against the wall. I don't know if there's something better than a pair of scissors to do this, but um, seems to be working good. Oh yeah, there was like a lot of spaces that were not even touching the wall. So I would really recommend this step, something skinny that you can get in there and make sure that it's totally touching the wall. Like that. Okay, and it says to wait 24 hours before we put stuff on it, so I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow and then I'll show you what it looks like with all of the products on it. There is another order of business I need to do downstairs, actually in the backyard. So we just ordered a bunch of patio furniture. It has all arrived in boxes, needs to get put together still, but um, I wanna order a rug for the area. It's gonna go over here and I just have no idea what size I need it to be. Probably huge. Okay, so I think my consensus is go on the bigger side. There's a lot of space to cover. So maybe a 10 by 12 or something like that. I gotta go back to my options and see. Regs are also like so ridiculously expensive. I don't understand why. I'm so excited, I got a package. And he literally just that's him driving away. I, how did I know? He, I didn't hear a knock at the door or anything, but I've checked the front porch like two or three times today because uh, I knew it was going to arrive. And I was like, hmm, maybe it came when I was in the backyard. And it is here. I got um, just a couple of things from White Fox. Let's see what I got. I love opening packages. Although... It's very stressful these days because I never know what size to order, so I used to be very confident in my ordering, and now I'm more just like, okay, I hope it fits. Um, I really like ordering from White Fox, except for you can only get store credit, I think, when you return stuff. Okay, so I'm very excited. I got a new sweat set. I'm very into green right now. So I got this sweatshirt. And then definitely next one. And then I got some matching sweatpants. I'm gonna wear these tonight. We're gonna go get massages later. And I also got a dress to potentially wear at my baby shower. And I'm most nervous about this fitting me because it's not maternity, but it is. it did look stretchy. And I sized up a little bit, um, so we'll see. Oh, I think we're gonna be fine. Well, I'm not gonna try it on yet on camera because you'll just have to wait for the reveal at the shower. Eee! The baby shower is literally in like two weeks. I'm getting very excited. Um, my mom has been putting together a lot of the details and stuff. Um, I'm, I've had kind of like a team of people. I've had um, one of my family friends helping, my mom helping, my dad, 
and his wife helping a lot and so everybody's throwing me a baby shower it's super nice of them um we're gonna have it here in vegas and we're gonna do co-ed because i don't know a ton of people in vegas i've been here for three years and i know a lot of people like through brian and his whole family lives here and so i really wanted to include his whole family and his family hasn't gotten to meet my family yet some of them met at the gender reveal party but since we're not married we haven't had a wedding we haven't been able to get like everyone all together for any reason yet so i just thought it would be a really good opportunity to have both sides of the family come together and um it's easier for me to have it here in vegas because i don't want to have to travel with all of the presents that i get back to vegas so and most of my family is like spread out like i don't have like all family in like one city like my mom moved to arizona now and then my grandma is in orange county california and then my dad's in la and then i have just friends kind of like sprinkled everywhere so i just figured we'll just have it here sorry guys we have to travel but yeah that's coming up in a couple of weeks and I'm really excited theme is very cute so I'll be probably posting a vlog about it I'm not gonna vlog like the whole day because I feel like that'd be really hard but I'll try to make a little video of the shower I decided to just put the set on now because I was too excited I think it still has the tags on it though maybe cut that off um I'm gonna make some dinner I'm gonna have some spaghetti with like meat sauce. I got this um, grass fed ground beef. And I'm gonna make, it's kind of like bolognese, but I don't have all the ingredients. I have like a carrot. And then I have some creamy vodka pasta sauce. I already used a little bit of it the other day, but I'm just gonna make like meat sauce pasta. But I am gonna saute and find, I'm gonna like finally cut up this carrot and a little extra garlic and put that in the sauce just to spice it up. insecurity and I really noticed them on the vlogs on YouTube because of the way that I always like hold the camera down low you can like really see it and honestly it makes me like not even want to post a video sometimes but I'm like whatever that's just what I look like um, and this is like a random story I don't even know why I'm telling the story it just came up but I've done um, a lot of series of like the aligners online 
I did smell Direct Club when I was, I don't know, like 21 or 22. And then I did not wear the retainer. Well, it moved my teeth so much. They were really straight, but they had a gap in the middle now. And I was like, oh, I don't like that. So I wanted them to move back a little bit closer. And then I just was not on top of it. I mean, I was supposed to wear it every night. I was at a phase in my life where I did not have a nighttime routine. I was going out. I was like not even washing my makeup off sometimes. I was not being good. So they all moved back and they got crooked again. And then I did the Bite Aligners, which I like that company a lot better. Um, and we did a whole series um, like a year and a half ago. And I did really like the results. It, they turned out like pretty good. And I only had to wear those ones at nighttime. I didn't have to wear them all day. But they weren't like perfectly straight. And I think the reason that they didn't create as many trays to get me to that perfectly straight positioning is because, and I know that I had done it in the past, is because they knew I would have the gap if they did that. So I was kind of like, oh, I need to contact them about um, maybe tweaking it or see what we can do. And I never did that. And then I got my trays kind of mixed up and I didn't realize that the trays are actually like numbered. <laughs> like if you look really closely. Um, I don't know. I just got really overwhelmed. I didn't know which ones I was supposed to be wearing. And then I just stopped wearing them because I got, I didn't wear them for a couple nights. Um, when I was like really sick in the beginning of my pregnancy slash when I got my boob job, there was just a lot going on at one time. And I just wanted to be as comfortable as possible because it's really hard to sleep. Um, and so then they moved back again. <laughs> The theme is just that I don't wear a retainer. And so now I, I, I still have all of my bite aligners from last year. So I started at the beginning again. And I'm going to switch over to week three tonight. They literally were fully back to like what they were before. So now I wear them at night and I'm trying to wear them during the day as well. Um, just as much as possible. I figure it's better. But I'm only required to wear them at night. So once I go through this series again, then I'm actually gonna contact the company to see if maybe we can add a couple trays. Cause like even last time when I did it, it wasn't like 100% where I wanted them to be. And, but I know right now if I contact them, they're gonna be like, your teeth look nothing like they're supposed to. So I'm doing the whole series again to get them where they're supposed to be. So that was a long story, but that's my teeth journey. And I feel like I'm I'm pretty like happy with the way that I look in in most aspects. Like I'm not somebody that like picks myself apart too much. I don't expect to be perfect, but my teeth is like my biggest insecurity for sure. And I just feel like everything else is looking fine and then if I smile with my teeth it's like why didn't she have braces as a teenager? My mom and dad didn't get them for me, guys. I asked. Just, it wasn't gonna happen. What's in the budget? So, I'm an adult with crooked teeth, but it's fine. We're working on it. Um, so I'm gonna now put the stuff on the shelves from yesterday. Looks like Brian took it upon himself to start using the shelf already. He showered this morning. And he put his uh, water pick on one of the shelves. But let's organize the rest of them and let's hope that they don't fall down. This will be the test. raw sugar living one but it fits and I know it was the heavier one. Oh my goodness. Now I need to install my Billy Razor holder. For now I'll just put it, I don't know. Maybe I should get a little hook for these. 
I think if I get like a little hook for the gloves, then that will be perfect. I also need to get a little soap tray. Brian likes bar soap. I don't know who like actually likes bar soap, honestly, until I met him. I feel like it's just something that you just use because that's all you have or something. But he actually requested, we have these body washes, and he's like, I don't have anything to wash my body with. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I need bar soap. That's the only thing I'll use. This is a very weird thing for me to learn in the beginning of our relationship. So I bought him bar soap. I had, like, but anyways, I hate it. I hate that it's in the shower. I think it's weird. <laughs> I need to get a little holder for it because I don't want the bar soap. It's just like currently just sitting out and it's just gonna get soap all over that area. So two things, a hook and a tray for the bar soap and then our shower will be like so organized. I'm so excited. Here is a close up. I'm actually obsessed with these shelves. They're holding up really well so far. These products are pretty full and heavy. Um, I will link them down in the description for you. This is a big step for me, guys, because I've never been an organized person. Like, it takes a lot of conscious effort for me to organize things. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of just tapping into this like nesting instinct because I did not have these impulses before, but I'm taking advantage of the motivation because I do fully enjoy my living space so much better when it's organized. I just have a hard time getting there. But once I get there, I can try to maintain it. So that's my goals right now. So it's been a day of just kind of doing stuff around the house. And Haley actually came over earlier. I didn't vlog, I just wanted to be like in the moment, but she helped me kind of decide a little bit about where to put some stuff around the house. Um, but the house isn't really ready for like a tour yet. She just helped me with some minor design elements, but it already feels better. Like I'm gonna put this picture up here and then we moved this bookshelf to over here for now. Um, it fits really well, pretty well there. And in this room, she helped me. I had like all the mirrors were sitting in here. So we put the mirror over there. The bar cart is in the corner. And then upstairs um, in my bedroom, we put one of the mirrors. But anyways, so I just went to Whole Foods and I got some pumpkins. So I already had these pumpkins because these is my initials. And I got them a couple of years ago. They're super cheesy. And Kind of ugly but cute at the same time um but we needed one that had a b because this one's for me and then this one is for a little c and then we needed a b and i couldn't find one online so i'm gonna paint a b on this for brian and we'll see his reaction when he comes home he'll probably laugh that i spent the time to do that but i got out <laughs> some paint i already had this in the garage and i'm gonna try to make it look like that I'm extremely not artistic, so this is going to be kind of interesting, and I'm kind of scared. Also, I have cookies in the oven. I wish you could smell the vibes in here, because the, the scent vibes are amazing. Also going to light my candle from Target. I showed it in my last vlog, I think. I don't know. All the vlogs are blending together, but this is the one that I have, and it smells really good. And I also got these two little pumpkins to put on the table here. That's the setup. Just like two cute little white pumpkins. And I'm gonna light the candle. I have been catching the um, candle top on fire. <laughs> I didn't blow it out, I just put the lid on. That's probably bad, right?
kind of cheesy, but I kind of love it at the same time. I had like all this extra paint, so I decided I'm going to paint the white pumpkins whiter because I just have like white paint sitting here. So they'll just look a little bit more pristine. painted whiter. Just a little subtle enhancement. How was work today, babe? It's great. I was a beast. Good job. I made something for you. It looks great. No, not that. Oh. Yes, I made dinner for you, but <laughs> I made you something else. Oh god, you made me something? Yeah. Look. Wow, big B, two little C's. I painted the B. Wow. Myself. These are store-bought? Yeah. And this is painted by Baby Kate? Yes. Great job. Because there was no B. I couldn't find a B. <laughs> so I made one for you. It's so big. It's yeah, I picked out a bigger one. The size of both C's. <laughs> well, you're the tallest of us all. Well, this is a nice pumpkin family. I didn't want you to be left out. Thank you. Yeah, you can't just have two. Wow, this is very thoughtful. I would have believed it was store painted. Wow, thanks. Then I had extra white paint. Oh, God. And so then I painted these white pumpkins white on top. <laughs> what, a, what a day. Yeah. Well, this only took me about 20 minutes at the end of my day. Did the pumpkins make you happy? Very happy. So did the, the other surprise. <laughs> the dinner? The dinner. Oh, also there's two giant pumpkins I need you to get out of my trunk. <laughs> oh, sad season. <laughs> I can barely get them into the trunk. Can't even blame it on nesting. This is just baby Kaden. Well, it's full. I only bought two. These are little sea size cookies. They came out smaller than I thought. I thought they were gonna like melt down, you know, and spread out, but they didn't. Couple days since I was last vlogging, but I wanted to quickly include this in this week's vlog. I just got the rug in the mail that I'm gonna be putting in the patio or in the backyard. And my dad is actually on his way with his way from LA again. Um, you saw in the last vlog, they came and helped me move, but they're gonna actually help put together all of that furniture today. And so I'm gonna drag the rug out there and see if it looks good. And then if so, they can put all the furniture on top. I'm kind of concerned. I think the rug's gonna be cute. I honestly did buy a pretty cheap one. <laughs> Because I, like, who wants to spend a lot on an outdoor rug? Am I right? This is kind of heavy. Well, let's see how it looks. Here it is. I'm going to attempt to drag this out there by myself. perfect size it like fills the space completely and I think the furniture will look really good out here on top of it so I will show you that once it is put together Ta-da! it came out so good thank you guys my dad and Lorley put all this together today probably took you guys like what three hours yeah it looks so good and it fits in the space really well. And the pumpkins match too. So cute. So I'll link this, the set that I got down below and the rug too. That is it for this week's vlog. Just a little house shenanigans. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week. That's all for now. Till next time. Bye.